Hello friends, today I will show you how to add records to your ASP Core 2 project and also I will introduce the new form element in the racer view. So first you should create a sample domain model. Go to your model and add a new class called category. I am going to give two attribute to it the category name and a category code and here the category code will be the primary key and give the required data notation to it then specify this model in your application DB context then open your package manager console and add a migration for these changes and save these changes in the database then add a new controller for the category called category controller here we have a default action called index and then right click and add a new for that action for readability purpose I give the name category form and then select the layout and we should return the category form view then import the category model in your view and then create a standard HTML form element and then specify the controller using ASP controller and then specify the action using ASP action currently we haven't any action to insert records so we will specify it later then we should create some input fields for the category code and category name here I am using the standard bootstrap input form group and add a label give it any name here the category code then add an input field and in ASP core we can bind that to our model using ASP for keyword and then specify the attribute name category code and then repeat this for the category name also and also add a button for save the data you can view your page using control shift w then open your category controller and then create an action for inserting the records and it will accept a parameter of type category called category and you should inject the application db context in this class so create and constructor with the parameters application db context and you can call it any name and then i am using the sharper so i can simply initialize it and if you haven't the extension you should manually type this code then check your data model is valid and if it is not valid you should return and if it is not valid return the view with the same data model and else we can 
add this category to our DB contact and then save the changes and then finally return to a new category form view and please don't forget to specify the ISP action in your view and open the browser and add a record and ensure that it is added to the database.